Hi everyone and welcome to another custom video. Today I'm going to be focusing on the Star Wars Black Series Darth Vader from A New Hope. Now this faction figure is actually one of my favorite figures of the line and I believe to be one of the best Darth Vader figures out there. If you're looking at something in terms of cost, it is the best affordable Darth Vader out there. And there are other figures of different lines from imports that are making also 6 inch figures of the Darth Vader action figure. Now. The thing I wanted to do today is I wanted to improve my action figure by giving it a lot more look to that of the New Hope and of the new Rogue One movie. Now a while back, Medicom Mayfix came out with their new Darth Vader figure based off the Rogue One movie and what it did sport which really caught my eye was that it had red lenses in the helmet that gave it sort of that look from that movie and of the New Hope. Now today I wanted to try and see if I can put my hand on making red lenses for my figure so that that way it looks a little bit more accurate to the movies and a lot more menacing as you can see red lenses instead of just this brown paint that was used originally from Hasbro. Now taking a look at the head scope right here you can see that this helmet from the Darth Vader is a really great and almost accurate to that of the film. In fact it's actually my favorite head sculpt of all the figures that's come out. Now looking at it you can see that it has really good painting on it at least in terms of the silver and grayness all over the helmet which is supposed to be there from the movie. But yet the lenses on this is very dark brown and it also did come out originally with a lighter brown that was packaged within 40th anniversary figures. The problem with I'm having with this is that this brown really doesn't look that menacing and it just looks really, really dark and photography doesn't capture how menacing Darth Vader can be. So I'm going to try and start making a change to those lenses by adding a few paints in order to create these red lenses that are similar to that of A New Hope and Rogue One. The first thing you want to do is that you want to get yourself some acrylic black gloss and the one that I'm using is the Model Master Gloss Black it's a, a good acrylic f paint and you're gonna use a very tiny brush and you're gonna use the paint and put the paint all over the lenses on the eyes of the Darth Vader mask this is a base that you wanna that you wanna use because it actually helps uh, create a better shine and glossness for the next other paints that you will be putting on top so that's the first thing you just wanna lay down on there and you wanna make sure once it's set there you wanna be careful and make sure it actually adheres good and looks really glossy and doesn't slop all over the place and just let it dry for a couple hours. Once you have allowed the black gloss to dry the next step is you want to get yourself an acrylic silver paint. Now the one that I am using is a Model Master Silver and the thing about this is that you want to make sure you mix this silver thoroughly because it's very thick so that you want to make sure that no big clumps of paint will end up uh, gathering onto your brush and creating a mess so you just want to make sure you stir it up shake it up whatever it is you want to do to get that acrylic moving and then you want to slowly also start applying it on the lenses on the black gloss and this is where the black gloss helps because it allows the silver to actually shine and pop more instead of just putting silver by itself you use a black gloss to allow it to give it a better shine and now for the final step. What you're going to do now is that once you've allowed the silver to dry up on the the helmet right here, you want to make sure you give it a good amount of time, a, I would say a good couple hours to really dry and adhere. The next thing you want to do is now you're going to create a certain paint color to, to give the effect of red lenses. Now the two paints that you're going to be using for this process is that you're going to use again gloss black and you're going to use a transparent red uh, acrylic paint. These are both also from model masters and they will be used to mix together to create a certain type of red lens effect that will be put onto the lenses of the Darth Vader helmet. Now here I have the transparent red paint and the gloss black. I placed it on a uh, nice little wax paper to help me mix together the paints. Now when mixing these paints you want to be careful not to put too much black on here because then otherwise it may not be turn out to be the color red that you want to use and you want to use as little as possible and then slowly uh, see what color comes out of it so let's see if we can just slowly mix these guys together there's a little bit of black right there and just mix as you can see it's really changing the color really fast but I think that's actually the color I want it's not too bad it looks dark right here but that's only because it's very thick but 
because of the clear red it will actually create a clearness on the helmet so that's not too bad right there it may look a little dark on camera but I can tell you with my eyes it looks actually pretty good alright so let's see if we can start putting this onto the Vader helmet alright so I have the Vader helmet right here I got myself a very tiny brush again and I'm just gonna slowly grab some paint and start to put it on and I apologize if this isn't the best video I'm trying to see if it focuses before I put it on you just want to slightly do it so you can see it is looking really red but it's okay if it's not as dark as you want it because that's you can actually add more paint later right now let's just do that a little bit more paint and then just add it over here and just spread it out as best you can sometimes using a little bit of a paint thinner can help you create a much smoother application just don't use too much of the paint thinner otherwise it'll run too much and it'll just look odd but so far it looks okay it's a little too red for me so that's why we still have a little bit of the black which we'll is dunk the black and then mix a little bit more and hopefully okay that's not bad so you can as you can see the silver helps create this look as though you know it's very like popping the light reflecting from from uh, the, the exterior lighting so here I already have a little bit of the black paint added more to the red I'm hoping it's gonna look a little bit better let's try that out for the second coat it's a little bit darker which is nice the application is very hard <laughs> But like I said, you don't want to let this thing dry too much because once it dries, it creates a very thick paint on there. And so paint thinner helps a lot. So as you can see, the effect is getting there to what the point that I like. Uh, like I said, you want to make sure when you apply this, you want to, I don't want to say rush yourself, but I do want you to make sure that you don't allow the paint to thicken because it did thicken on this eye right here. I'm not sure you can tell, but I have a few lumps of paint, which I'm not very happy with. But the effect is actually looking really good so I'm going to try it one more time so and as you can see I added one more little layer of paint to try to make it a little bit darker and I'm not sure if you can tell but I do have a lot of like paint thickness in the lenses it doesn't look as great as I hoped it would but the effect does look better it makes it look as though those are lenses right there on the helmet similar to that of his new hope appearance so I'm just going to let this guy dry off a little bit to get and see how it looks like on the figure and finally this is the end result of all the paint work gone into the lenses and I gotta tell you it looks really really good I'm really happy with the way it turned out and as you can see on certain angles if you tilt it a certain way light will reflect on it from the silver that was placed in there so it pops out so you can see that it actually looks like red lenses rather than just a red color on top so it looks really cool uh, I did have, like I said, some parts in the paint that look a little thick, so I wasn't happy with that, but I don't think you can tell, like, from a distance, but up close on the camera, you might be able to see it. But the look of it looks great. It almost looks as though of that of the Mafix figure, you know? It just looks really nice. It stands out, and it makes it look more accurate to what the movie representation is, so it's really great. I'm really happy with it. I also want to mention is that you can use this process for the red lenses on the Star Wars Black Series centerpiece Darth Vader you can see that uh, I'm not sure if you can tell but I also did paint his eyes it's kind of hard to tell I think these ones came a little bit darker than the one that I did but that's why like I said you gotta be careful when you use black because if it's too much it'll just be hard to um, get the effect you want but he actually can be made and placed here and he actually looks a little bit better in my opinion it's just the way it all looks but you know it's really awesome just to have this uh, centerpiece also with the red lenses just to make them look a little bit more accurate to the movie so overall guys I gotta say that this process looks great I love it and I think it's gonna work well for my figures now and I hope that this actually tutorial helps you guys out uh, a little note just so you guys can uh, 
know about what I uh, the experimentation I did for the Getty's lens effect is that you want to be careful what paints you use. I was recommended to use Tamiya colors because they actually worked better, but the problem was Tamiya have somehow every time I try to put Tamiya colors uh, for the lenses over the silver, it would deteriorate the silver. So I had to do a lot of experimentation. So the only ones that worked really well was all the acrylic master, model master acrylics worked really well together and they never like, you know, uh, deteriorate any, any paint underneath it. So that's why I use those and I recommend those if you have them. If not, if you want to experiment on your own, go ahead. Just, I do highly recommend you test it on something else, like another, something else that's plastic and just see the process for you if it works out well. But overall, I am very happy with the le the look of this guy. He does look a little bit better. He looks more menacing with the effect of the red lenses on him. So yeah. So uh, I want to say thanks a lot for joining me today, guys. I hope this video was informative. It helped out if you guys want to try and do the red lens effect on the helmet for Darth Vader. If you have any questions or comments, please place them on the video below. And I will catch you guys later. And keep collecting.